for today's class we will be taking this subject right and the reference credit for this particular image is painting references uh, facebook page i appreciate their effort uh, in posting such wonderful reference images for artists this is a pretty complicated subject uh, lots of details lots of details okay so uh, my effort today will be to almost ignore uh, the details i mean I, we will just give some touches here and there that's it and uh, we will totally avoid the details probably we will suggest some boats water reflection and this buildings let us see how it goes uh, when when we talk about the drawing part of it uh, i will be worrying only about this kind of uh, kind of a triangular shape this particular shape maybe this particular shape and something at the distance and then some boats right and uh, the in the internal some shadows we might later suggest to to bring the uh, three dimensional form right so no no much detail drawing for this we will give suggestions based on how the washes come out right okay so let us make a quick drawing on the watercolor paper itself the paper i am using today is a quarter sheet which is 15 inch wide by 11 inch tall and the brand is mestria handmade paper 300 gsm call trust my first objective is to get the 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 main triangular uh, group of buildings so basically if you look at uh, somewhere here will be the base of the building i'm just judging it i'm just judging the ratio of sky to sky to the water level is almost one third so i think it should be like little above somewhere here the top left so i am not worried about these pencil marks and all i usually i don't worry too much about the pencil marks and somewhere from this some some part from some part around uh, maybe 1/4 from this side uh, the kind of uh, the building the triangular form starts right okay and uh, then then uh, around at the mid point maybe somewhere here you have a little bigger shapes coming right and uh, some more some more bigger shapes may be here okay then then we have some more some some details not too much right and going little bit some some see you cannot avoid all the details so some main main shapes that i am seeing i am trying to uh, define the some main shapes i am talking about uh, here is a building kind of thing and there is something at the top some dome kind of a thing maybe i'll give that some shape then there is another building there is another building here i'm only worried about see basically i'm worried about these shadows nothing nothing other than that okay and then comes some of this some bigger forms only the outer shapes little bit i'm i'm i mean little bit paying interest okay. then there are some kind of uh, some small i mean temple structures there something in red color if you if you see it. and uh, there is another one 
this could be interesting so i am just uh, getting some suggestion there for those things and uh, somewhere below here you will find that's it for these things and there are some couple of other things and if and at the distance you have some details some, some something which is merging to the ground right and somewhere maybe i'll move these things somewhere here and you will find lot of uh, some circular things here the, here it is a complete circle i am but i am making it as a novel so, so that it creates some interest okay now when after this we have couple of uh, boats i think i'll make the main boat first the main boat is something that okay we again we don't need too much of details for this again is almost touching this i think we should go a little bit up and there is some reflection here and at the top of it there is a blue structure i don't know whether i should i should give but i'll try to give some suggestion here and uh, there are some doors or something here and so this this boat we will have to give some kind of uh, some more details okay and there is another some ports here i don't really want to give much details there but this is again in the shadow i mean there are reflections and there are some reflections here and all and somewhere here you have a big boat and this goes a little further okay now somewhere here we have a bigger boat okay and there are a lot of steps here maybe people also and there is a reflection for this okay and the details of the reflections we will give later there are many 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 more smaller boats here i think this much is sufficient for the drawing part okay so we will now go for the washes this is my palette and uh, i'll be using some of these colors i not be able to exactly mention what i'll be using but this is how my colors go cerulean blue ultramarine blue cobalt blue mauve violet sap green olive green burnt amber raw amber burnt sienna crimson lake orange permanent yellow indian yellow raw sienna uh, this is i mean this is yellow ochre raw sienna vermilion red and uh, prussian blue i may not be using all these colors so as far as possible i will try to mention the colors that i am using for the brushes uh, i'll be using uh, mainly for the larger washes i'll be using these mop brushes 
these are Raphael mop brush number 6 and number 2 natural hair brushes for the detailed works I will use these round brushes some large medium small and a liner, liner brush right ok let us start with the washes now so I am really since the idea is to simplify a lot uh, I think you have to uh, go for larger washes throughout right so what I would do is uh, I'll give a raw sienna wash throughout not throughout uh, what I meant is raw sienna wash you might think okay this is this seems to be too 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 or uh, too yellowish but I think it is okay This is kind of an underbrush that gives some kind of a sunset uh, warm kind of thing overall. So I am giving mostly this kind of a wash for most of the areas. Okay, and while this is still wet, I wanted to give some uh, cerulean blue washes. Just merging it together. In fact, it is not very pure with, with uh, cerulean blue. Some mix of violet, and you see. While this is still, since it is still wet, I'm kind of trying to merge the things a little bit. If you look at the bottom, the sky, the the, the water also is. I mean, it's all kind of uh, merging. So I want to suggest the water also now. In fact, it is little uh, reddish kind of thing that I am feeling. It seems to be a little warmer. I don't know which color it is. Uh, maybe I'll take a touch of. Oh, this is too much. This is. I think this went too much. For that, I wanted a little bit more bluish violetish thing at the bottom let us see how does it come I don't know really if it is going to work or not but let us see right now Taking out that some extra colors from the bottom. And some little warm, little more warm. There. It 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 should uh, it should uh, dry dull. It should all dry uh, very dull going forward. Trying to give some kind of a merging now itself. Okay. 
let us see we may have to give a couple of uh, more washes for the butter i think i'll i'll do it now itself i think i'm i'm spoiling it now the more you touch the wash the more it is getting spoiled and some dark some dark reflection i'm using burnt sienna and uh, vermilion hue for this area that is all just allowing it to merge now itself it is little try to define it later but some kind of suggestion i am giving it now itself okay we'll suggest it later now for the for these buildings there are lot of things i i don't know i am giving little yellow permanent yellow and uh, this orange mix i am giving for some of these buildings okay there are a lot of pure yellowish tufts okay and uh, some lighter colors i am using burnt sienna for some of the washes and uh, some dull color also it's all different variation i i'll i'll give lot of uh, i'll give most of this details later so this is just kind of uh, filling some some colors okay some yellows some burnt sienas some burnt umbers you know, some variations basically merge to the distant ones when you merge it let us make it little duller touching some violets to show me that so that it gives the sense of distance just trying to kind of merging all this
some spaces I am leaving. And at some places there are dark reds. Trying to give some suggestion for those also. I think we will wait it, wait for this to get a little dry, then we will continue. Okay. Just sprinkling something at that distance. We will wait for this to get dried. Alright, now it is reasonably dry. You can see if it is dry by the back of your hand. Right, okay. Looks dry enough. We can we can start I mean giving some more details. Right. Now we'll have to think what next. So this gives the overall kind of the washing, the underlying wash. Now we need to decide upon what level of details we have to give. So let us now give some suggestion for uh, water ripples. So what I am doing is whatever is the leftover color here, I am just move, giving some suggestion for ripples. I think we will give a little bit more bluish violetish tones. Some just some suggestion, okay. So some as it comes down you will have to as you come down you have to make it little I mean, what you call it as bigger in shape. Maybe I'll take a bigger brush. I think it is, it will be a good idea to uh, maybe wet it little bit using a spray bottle or you can use you can use uh, you can wash also you can wash with clean water also that is also possible so I am using little bigger brush and just trying out some colors some movement we are we are just suggesting that's it
i think that is that is sufficient for now now maybe here it is now okay now now let us uh, do some details here we like to think we like to be a little cautious about what we do I, i'm not planning to give too much of details so i think i'll use whatever color is there okay and give some details so if during the if during the initial wash if you think there was some perspective issue or something that you need to correct this uh, this time you can do those things those things you can do now i uh, i am not uh, talking too much now because i am kind of trying to see what could be added what could be what could be better etc somewhere i'll be using the yellow color is also because some of these edges are much lighter in tones different colors okay varying a more about the perspective lines etc many places uh, i'll not be worried about the details you'll find some of this area you remember that we have made some small building sort of thing and just giving some kind of details to those some big shapes we are trying to develop wherever possible this looks too much of details to me so just diffusing some of those things and while doing that always worry about the perspective some red red things were there so giving some shapes to those red buildings
we'll give more details uh, some some more touches later uh, going forward okay this now i am just giving some minor details that's it If you really ask me, I don't know what I am doing. I am just trying to suggest some of these shapes. some circular thing which i want to keep there i'm diffusing sort of things Send it a little bit more to make these things some kind of steps. Okay. Now I really these things here. If you see, it is all some kind of a step or something. See, the paper is little bent, so I'm there. The strokes are not coming parallel. Strokes are supposed to be parallel, but due to the bulging of paper, though it is paper is dry, still I am not getting the paper is hasn't become very flat. Now I think we can suggest some uh, remote boards. Very lighter in color. And, to start making it easy. 
bitter and maybe a little, little bit of colorful boots also Some some of these boots little colorful. Some minor reflection. So the near nearby boots we will have to yet make. Okay. So they are just giving some uh, remote one, the distant ones, right, now there are too much of things left out, so now let us try to make the nearby boat, so if you really look at, there is something with, something bluish there, so I'll use a little bit of, I don't have the, that exact light color, so I'm mixing a little bit of white to this, if you have some lighter blue tones you could use it use those things but since I like this color I'm just mixing little bit of little bit of white to get the kind of tone that I want because I'm, uh, I'm not getting the right color since this tone is already there, let us make something here. Something, something there also. Some touches. Okay. Now, let us make. I think we should give some more accent to this the 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 boat now the boat color so i'm using little thicker orange color to make it pop up a little bit more okay i'm trying to find out where the drawing is i think i missed i think i missed some of these drawings Trying to find out where is my drawing exact area I forgot I, I missed due to the washes but I think that's okay. That shouldn't be a big issue. Right. Now I think this area needs to dry a little bit before giving details. Let us make this the, the other boat, which is a little darker in color. Okay. And let's make this. I will I would want to make it a little bit more darker. You don't ask me what color it is. I am I think this needs to be a little brownish as well it's a long boat kind of thing okay. now on top of that there are different colors okay. I am just trying to mark something there Something in red. Something. 
ini pingin biar yellow we give some details going forward was getting some interest so I just wanted to create that interest that's it now we will have to go for the reflection for that I really do not know what is the color for that reflection just trying to work out some some darker color not have very big reflection for that because then the perspective will, will all go off little bit of uh, I think some some color difference should be there for the reflection also because of the color is able no, but not too much Things should be there. We will have to make okay. Can can diffuse some of this. I, I don't want to have a clear, um, very clear reflections. We'll have, we'll give some something on the top to suggest uh, to match with these things. Okay. Now comes the the major the main thing of uh, making the details here. Right. So let us uh, before doing that. Let us make some darker accent for this. Whatever is this little thing, I don't know. We didn't do it initially because because that might lead to a lot of spreading. Now. A lot of darker things. I'm using Prussian blue and maybe vermilion red I am mixing so that I want some darker reddish color for some of the details yeah darker orange or something To really do not know what these things are really it is really uh, something it is difficult to understand these structures
but I preferred a little bit more lighter color for the boards but since it's already darker you can't do using a little thicker color to merge the things just wanted to get some interest here that's it maybe we'll we'll give some more suggestion later here I really this is troubling me now okay some more boats needs to be I mean suggested here reflection of little darker color this little reddish also we need more darker colors later uh, right now uh, this could be treated as uh, just a layer okay because we need much darker reflections i wanted that is little bit more reddish tones here that has become too much of white too much of bright <laughs> I don't know how to fix it anyway this looks to be too much of uh, what you call it as too much of sharp now give some details with the small brushes some darker touches okay. wherever you need 
with some darker touches you give it this color kind of dry dry brush stroke some lighter suggestions also for the lighter area okay now I think now we will need a little bit more details, some poles or something we will make. So brush has become very dry. Some more dry brush works just to suggest that there is something. Some more suggestion for this so that they are just believable. They also should need something. Sir, people, okay, you don't have to give too much of details. You need people here also. Some touches here and there.
you know some something needs to be available for this boat which i really do not know what i will make let me wait and wait for some something to come in my mind i think some i don't know there are some birds or something which i am just giving some suggestion that's it something that okay. now most of these things are done now we need some people here also i think i'll take another smaller brush and uh, work for the people so here i'm not sure but this is not the right time to fix anything here because uh, here it is still very wet Maybe I'll just take some pure white and then give some details here. So there are some some pure white details that can be added to this pot also. These are very tiny touches. Okay, you don't overdo this. Very easy to get. okay this we can very thick these are very easy to get over done this i am not i'm when when i am little bit uh, focusing more i i think i i go silent so, but i think it is what we are doing is a little pretty clear we are just trying to give some suggestion to the boats basically not only the boats but in general all the all the things whether you do whether you use white in watercolor all those questions might arise but you can take a call okay now we i think we have to make some suggestion for people on the step also but that again will be very small remember so 
I am not worry, really worried about the, the colors and all. This will be very small paper. Okay. Just one press of a brush work will do. Now the main thing is the reflection for this, which is a little bit scary now. I think what I'll do is I'll make some darker uh, the the windows etc. and then we'll see how best to do the rest. now here some very dark stuff This is just defining the shape of this board. You know what these things are.
mixing with some white to give some kind of diffusing effect. really finding it little difficult to to avoid details I think I'll just use some light blue to take it here I'm doing a wet I'm making it little wet and uh, trying to get some color there gradually I think we'll stop it at here and uh, we'll see what additional things we have to do after drying it. I'm not very happy with this area because it went uh, too dark. I should have taken care of uh, this in the beginning. Now since that it happened I think there is no other way than uh, trying to save this by applying some opaque lighter color. Uh, it is not the ideal way of doing it but uh, probably this can be just treated as a lifesaver. Okay, so we'll just do that. is not a very transparent approach
Similarly, some darkness we want for the reflection. It is very dirty, but let us see. I think some more darker strokes is required for this particular board. tiny bit larger and we will give the final touch now some more this umbrella sort of things Now we will do the signature, I will do a signature in red color, here so just to balance some red. I think we are done so our approach was very suggestive approach not too much of details and uh, some kind of uh, color contrast I wanted to give to this area but for some reason that didn't work out well but I think we have reasonably suggested it uh, in a decent way we'll take out the tape now okay I think we have done reasonably well we have paid justice to the reference and uh, uh, if you really look at there are no much details uh, everything is made very vaguely but still it all seems to make sense okay keep practicing in this way and uh, we'll see in the next class thank you